Hi guys! So in today's video I'm going to tell you a little bit about what drag means to me and why I love it so much, I guess. I get so many questions on my channel about, you know, why are you so into drag queens? Are you obsessed with drag queens? Are you obsessed with drag? Why do you like it so much? Aren't you a female? Like, how do you do drag if you're a girl? Just like a, a million questions and um, hopefully this video will answer some of them for you. So I'm going to do a completely separate video on what bio drag is or what faux drag is, which it's just a woman who dresses in drag is what it is, but I'm going to get more into that in a separate video because that's an animal all within itself, but this video I'm just going to talk about drag and why I love it so much. So my love of drag started at a very young age. Um, I went to my first concert when I was about 10 years old and it was a Cher concert and this was the first time I ever remember being introduced to drag. Um, my dad took me to see Cher because I loved Cher. Ever since I was little I've just always been interested in into um, like gay icons. I mean I didn't even know that was a thing but the people that I loved the most are these gay icons like Cher and Madonna and Barbara Streisand and these are just the people that I loved and looked up to and admired and Cher is my number one. I love Cher. I've loved her since I was little. So I went to the Cher concert and there were all these men dressed like Cher and all these men in just gorgeous costumes and it was just so amazing to me and I remember asking my dad like wow like why are all these people dressed up and he was like you know it's just like how they express themselves and ever since then like that sticks in my mind so much I've just there was so much beauty in that and so much freedom in seeing um these men dress however they wanted to in in just all this color and beauty and just over the top and creative and I loved it and I looked up to them so much because as a kid like I didn't feel very like accepted I didn't feel like I fit in anywhere but at that share concert standing next to two men who were dressed like Powerpuff Girls I felt so at home and I think that's when my love of drag really took off before I even knew that drag was a thing. I just loved these men who were fearless and just so confident and creative and beautiful. From there I just started looking up different things and I found RuPaul and I was like wait this is this is a thing like this drag is a thing and I was so obsessed with RuPaul and RuPaul kind of became like my like beacon of hope and light and, and everything like when I felt different or I felt any anything uh RuPaul somehow offered an answer to me and he really is like an angel to me it's so weird but every time I've been in a, a tough spot in my life or something hasn't gone according to plan or I'm having just troubles like I can always find a RuPaul quote <laughs> that will like get me through it and just his spirit his light everything I just I love him so shortly after this RuPaul's Drag Race came around and I was mesmerized. Um, just all of these people who despite everything, despite you know being told that this wasn't natural or that they weren't good enough, despite their awful home life some of them had, they had the, this this like tenacity to go after what they want and to be who they want to be and that's just so inspiring to me. Beyond the whole just inspiration that I get from drag queens, I just think it takes so much talent and creativity and just artistic ability to be able to pull off drag. I think people don't give drag queens enough credit to do the you know wigs and the makeup and the padding and the costumes and the lip syncing and the dancing and just all of it the everything that goes into being a queen is I think so overlooked for so many people it's just like a, a bar act or you know it's something that you go see at a bachelorette party or something and you don't really stop and think like 
these people put so much time and money into this beautiful art form and I just admire them as people and most of all as artists. So hopefully that explained a little bit to you guys. Hopefully you could follow that. But I mean, really, that's why I love drag. There's a million reasons, but um, I it's just inspiring to me. And and it's amazing as an artist and as an actress. It's um, it's like a, building a character from nothing. And I just, I love it. So that is it, you guys, for this video, but I have another video coming about bio drag because so many people, um, specifically on social media, not so much in person, they're just like, they can't wrap their minds around the fact that I have a vagina, but I perform in drag. Um, they can't quite ooh, get that concept together. So I'm gonna make a video for you guys letting you know how that is possible because it's possible. Uh, but that is it, you guys. If you have any questions or any comments, let me know. If you like drag, let me know who your favorite drag queens are. Um, and support your local queens. Don't just support the drag race girls. Like, go support your local queens. They put in just as much work and effort into their art form. Uh, just because they're not on TV doesn't make their art any less valid or any less important. So, there we go. There's my spiel. I'll get off my soapbox now. But thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, wherever it might be on the screen today. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye!